Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live. Today I want to show you how you can create kind of like a dancing avatar for TikTok video or for other purpose. But basically, uh, you dance to a music or a song and then from that dance performance, you simply record it and then capture it and then transfer it into 3D avatar. Alright? So the result is something like this. Yeah, so this is a, uh, I'm using an old song from the 80s, I think, or the 90s, I forgot. But basically, yeah, I dance for one minute to the song. I think this is kind of be like uh, quite common and it's a good exercise as well. Um, you can see me dancing there like, as a pixel character. But anyway, uh, from this performance, I simply, uh, I'm using a couple of apps on the iPhone. The first one is the... TDPD app. TDPD app is something that I mentioned before. So, first of all, I'm gonna show you the whole procedures. There, there are only like seven steps. You can do this under one hour. First, you find a song on TikTok. You dance to the song, 15 or 60 seconds dance. Record the video of yourself, and then save it. All right, and then you bring it into TDPD app. And this app is really important. It basically look at your video, and then you can actually replace yourself. In the video and export the bvh all right the bvh animations i have shown you before in the past you simply uh, import it into blender and let's take a look so the result is something like this there's so, so this is the, the motion bvh from my dance performance and if you look at the fps it's it says 24 FPS, but I think I should have changed this to 30, 30 FPS, I think. Um, so we have dance performance that we can match and sync into the video. All right. So from this, you can simply bring in uh, your character. Like uh, in this case, I'm using Bruno. Once again, I think I have Bruno somewhere. Bruno is from Rococo, and I quite like the character. It's the mime. This is the mime character and it's very photogenic and we can simply drop it bring in Bruno and I'm using blender 2.93 I recommend you oh actually 2.92 I think 2.93 also works but you basically use the Rococo studio live add-on and just simply retarget. So this is the source. Okay, the, the source is the our motion BVH, and the mime skeleton is the target. Tell Rococo to build the bones, and then you check the bone if we have found all the matching bones, and simply retarget the animation. So we're gonna. So this is like a. It becoming is really simple because there's a lot of app and add-ons available for you to use. Even though the animation is like one minute long, one minute is quite long. One minute, if you if you check, it's like uh, one thousand eight hundred frames, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, pretty much. So, uh, so we have the motion capture that we can delete now because it's already transferred into Bruno. This guy, we can have texture. Take a look. Okay, so we have the animations actually already one minute animations sings to the song the dance performance is i did this dance and it's actually my own performance so it's a it's quite original the character is i of course i borrow from rococo but you can simply export this as glb and gltf and then you can actually send it to your friend and this is for if you want to use the usdz the resulting usdz will be uh something like this okay in this case bruno is facing the wrong side it's supposed to be like this but you can bring this into an app like reality composer and then bring also the the song and yeah you have character performing for you in front of you like an just like a automaton uh sync to the song so i think this is pretty cool it's one way to do it Another way, uh, so 
after you transfer the animations into Blender to your character, you can record a real footage stage. You can scan like a 3D, uh, 3D space or, or like just scan your, your room or outdoor, but you can also use real footage. So I'm using an, an, another app called Camtrack AR from HitFilm. And it's looking a little bit like this. So this is, I'm using iPhone 13 Pro. It, it should work on 11 Pro and 12 Pro as well. Maybe better with LiDAR, but uh, yeah. This is Camtrack AR. It's scanning the spot for you and you can record it in HD resolutions. So you can track the table or the chair. I've done this in the past and I've shown you before and then you export it out. Once you export this out, you can simply bring this into Blender. So file, save as, this is uh, Bruno Dance. So you can simply use file, import, hit film, hit film AR tracking data. And go to my download. This is my recording data, just bring Hit film. It's gonna bring the animations into Blender, uh, and then you just need to set up the the character. Just place it on the spot there. So you can see there's the camera. This is the camera, and by default, it's actually one frame uh, forward. You need to just move it once. You need to offset it by one frame to be correct. So we have this Bruno performing and we want to place Bruno on the table. So I just move it, move it there on the spot. It's probably facing the wrong way, but we can take a look from the camera. Uh, look through the camera. So we are inside the camera. Bruno is facing that way. All right. Camera background image. We can assign a video movie clip. Download downloads. Downloads. Get our footage. So this is uh, my table. Um, we can increase the opacity. So just a quick one without any light uh, whatsoever. We can we can see Bruno here. Let's fix Bruno a little bit the, with the material. We need to turn that off. Okay, now it's better. Now we have Bruno dancing. This guy need to be rotated 90 degrees. Yeah, right. So now we have Bruno dancing, performing. And let's turn off the bones. Yeah. So this is the result very quickly. Uh, we can do this. All we need to do is probably like a, to create like a contact shadow, uh, if you want to render it properly because by default it's not so realistic and you might want to have like environment light as well uh, you want to set up all this thing and then render it using something like maybe like cycles x i can try using cycles x uh yeah but in this case i just use ev should be okay with ev we can use a bit of scene light, sunlight from the side. So there should be a shadow, contact shadow on the table. But for a quick job, I think this is pretty cool. And you can simply render this out. Okay, you save it, render this, render this out. And the result should be something like this. Right, so the character dancing to the song. The timing should be correct. I mean, some poses, if you want to reanimate the character, pick some of the pose you like. And because this is like, uh, I'm using motion capture from TDPD app, even though the timing is correct, maybe the, the foot sometimes looks like sliding, but at least the timing is correct. Okay, the song is actually quite nostalgic. It's, it's actually from this uh, singer, Krisha, Indonesian singer, songwriter. The song is called Anat Sekola. It's a, 
yeah, like a school kid basically the song is about school kid uh, and I think his love story with the school kid or something but anyway he's a he's just a late singer uh, I think he passed away a few years ago I met him in Sydney at some point on the bus actually he was visiting for Indonesian festival uh, but anyway it's part of memories so it's quite interesting that we can do this using avatar dancing and then yeah like doing all the process and then after you make this video you know render it using blender you can crop it and then you bring it back into tiktok and it should match the song because it's exactly one minute so yeah you can create this under one hour thanks to blender and also all these apps like tdpd app i think this motion capture part even though you don't have motion capture shoot if you have motion capture shoot you can do this actually in real time this app can do it in real time as well if you have if you set it up properly um for the facial animations i didn't do it for this character but i think because he's like a mime kind of like a puppet so it's kind of okay he look he can look pretty dead He's, he doesn't even blink but i can actually record my facial animations and just apply it apply it in pose maybe i can do that a bit later at least he should blink or the head motion looking at the camera is also really important so yeah that's the whole process hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you